be like, yo, you bought the Jennifer body? <laughs> ah! What? <gasps> no. All right, everybody, prepare your mind, bodies, and souls to watch some TV. Everyone's in a good mood to react? Yes. Woo. Hi. Hey, what up, y'all? It's Enormous coming back at you a little bit of Euphoria, season two, episode three, Ruminations, Big and the Little Bullies. Big little, and the Little Bullies. Little and Big Bullies. Little and, and Big Bullies. Has Doesn't the matter. Big Bully. Yes. This is the Little Bully. Is Everybody it? knows. Pretty sure what? It's bigger than Pat, but okay. <laughs> In terms of bullying, Pat's bigger. Oh, okay. <laughs> booty, sure. booty, booty, booty. I think everybody, we both everybody know who all knows, the bullies are. Everybody knows that I'm not the bully. You everybody are the bully. <laughs> everybody knows. Who's that. everybody? The fans, the true fans know that. The I'm true fans, oh God. Well, Pat, man. Pat, your sector of fans need a name. Let's call them like the, the Patculites. The Patculites. Pat They're like <laughs> Aculites for Pat. Uh, the Patrons. The Patrons. Patrons. Oh, All right, yes. yeah, that, that fits way better. Patrons know <laughs> that Patrons he's not a bully. Mm -hmm. um, so, last episode. Uh, Nate was all did a lot of things. He fucked uh, Cassie. Cassie in that area where Cassie, the developments were happening. This is for you. Calm your tits, girl. Mm -mm. Calm. Mm -mm. Calm that Calm down. Up. Oh, yeah, in the construction area. Yeah, you know, she got a bunch of splinters in her butt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, just standing there. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, that's gonna be like his problem. It's stressful. Yeah, <laughs> I know Jules and Rue. They're dating, but Rue is kind of mentally not really cheating, but it's still cheating because is she's, it cheating? She's no. doing. Is this a friend? Not really, she's but she's doing she's drugs, lying. so she's lying to him, uh, to yeah. Jules, and so I wouldn't yeah. call it cheating because that's like in a relationship emotional thing. She's lying. She's lying and being an untrustful fuck boy. Yeah. She's deceitful. I, she is. I have a question. No. Is cheating worse or not trusting somebody worse? Isn't what? What the fuck do you mean? What do you mean? Which one's explain, worse? So explain as, more. Uh, so, would you rather get che uh, cheated on, uh -huh. or would you rather have your trust broken? But, but they the both do the, the same, same thing. Trust broken. So if somebody cheated on me, that means my trust is broken because I trusted that person not to do that, but then they did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so like the trust is going to be broken one way or another. You, yeah. It's just you're talking about methods. Would I rather be cheated on, or would I rather have Marquetta like sell our cat for fucking thirty dollars? Yeah, which which. So the why they're both gonna hurt just as much. Well, is it? I think the cheating will probably hurt more than the cat. No, I don't know which one would hurt worse, the cat. The actually. cat. See, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Ah! That's what I guess I do not have this. I don't have to feel yeah. about that. I mean, if yeah. you cheated on me with like some dude or some chick who's like rippled up with all these fucking like abs and shit, I'm like that fucking sucks. That's trash. You want me to be all high like that? How could I ever do that? But if you sold the cat, I'd be like, how can I trust you with anything? I know how much you love the cat. Exactly. I know how See, much you're with I'd the rather, cat. Exactly. If you were I'd like, I got rid of scenario. One of those makes more sense to me. Yeah. If you're like, I cheated on you with some super hot person, I'd be like, you, uh, you're weak and you can't, you can't yeah, not exactly. do it. But if it like, you sold the cat, I'd be like, are you on drugs? Like, this is too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris Why would it. you sell the cat? <laughs> that's right. That's where I was going with but that. Thirty dollars. What yeah. are you trying to get? Mexican? I mean, it all depends. If also, you know, she ate like my French fries while my back was turned. I, you know, I guess I trust you to literally eat my French fries while my back was turned. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat your French fries. Uh, yes. Well, you should just already know that. <laughs> Not a market substitute. Support the OG content. Uh, feel free to follow us on Patreon because guess what? You're probably watching us on Patreon because that's where all these episodes start off yes. at. Look, we're going to be doing other things like that. Who knows what's on Patreon right now? Maybe we're watching your favorite TV show and I'm talking to you. Well, there might be some people that are watching it on YouTube right now and you know what? The whole show is available on Patreon right now. Say what? The whole show? Oh, yes. Say what? It's been available, son. It's been mm. available so for long. months. Go mm. catch up. Yes. Well... Besides well, that, that's not market substitute. Mm -mm. Did, Please did, support. Did, oh, we did. did. Oh, no, did. <laughs> okay. So now you're tripping. And I'm by tripping. the way, this is not a market substitute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a market substitute. Guys, it's 2.30. I have been waiting for Euphoria all day, and so much has happened all day while I've been waiting. I know. So... This is yeah, yeah, the, today, vi the, the vibes are off today. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say today's uh like I came in here and I was like, why? Well, this is this is in further reaction. Maybe it is. I don't chaos. know. Maybe I came in and I was like, why am I annoyed? I'm not even annoyed at anything. I'm I, just like pre annoyed for no reason. I mean, I also is it because it's Monday? It's not Monday. No, it's, it's no, not. It feels like a Monday. It's Spencer, a hot day. Yeah, Spencer said the same thing too, and so I was like, I, there's something going on. I don't know what it is. The vibes are off. The vibes, the vibes are, are off. off. Hey, but we're here to watch Euphoria with you guys. Right. We love the show. Right. Let's get into a drama that I'm not involved in. Right, yes. yeah. I also don't like how hot this show is at times. Give me all the tea. That whole 
montage because I'm writing a My Hero Academia guy. I have to keep watching it. But the one with like Cassie like on the bearskin rug and shit. Shit's too hot. I don't like it. What? This shit's too yeah. hot? You don't like hot. it? I was trying to like write. I was getting turned on. I was like, yeah, turn this <laughs> off, bro. <laughs> Drew, it's okay. like you're my best friend. You literally died, Drew. You yeah, have me the eye. I'll be filming sex tapes with these people that I fuck. So when, if, it, if it does yeah. all done cashing down, do you think the wife is going to leave him or stay with him? She'll probably stay. Yeah. That's what I think, too. When Cal was a senior in high school. Ooh. 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 Oh, buddy. Dingleberry. Dingleberry. And they spent every day uh. with his best friend, Derek. Oh. Did they ever kiss just as a joke? Huh? He's always been rich. Yeah? Family money, baby. Driving like this oh. is indicative of who you are as a person. <laughs> Listen, y'all. It does not mean like that. Sure. Sometimes you gotta be at places, and sometimes you gotta race the maps on your phone. Race the maps on your phone. Sounds healthy. <laughs> uh, my friends who are all in wrestling told me about this move that they do. It's illegal. It's called butt dragging, but you can do it without people noticing. Where when you get the dude on the ground, you literally put your thumb in his fucking butt, and he freaks out, but it makes it easier to pin him. And then they can't say anything? I mean, no, it's hard to get caught doing it. Yeah, it's hard to get caught. You know, smell his thumb afterwards? That's fucked up. So, uh, this past weekend in the NFL game, oh no, two weekends ago, one of the quarterbacks went for a fumble and fell. And there's, there's a scrimmage when the guys grabbed his dick, trying to get the ball out. I'm like, bro. So, oh my God, bro, she looked right at you. Oh, so he's not afraid. You guys caught gazing? Which one's which? I keep forgetting. I don't know. Hmm. They oh, shared that's, that's blue shorts. Is that cow? cow. Yeah. yeah. They shared the soap. Calvin Klein too, Dad. So much genitalia. He is a penis peeper. You want to get a milkshake? Like straight up. Do 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 do. I love this song. Oh, I don't think I even have ever heard this song. Taking a ride with my best friend. Sounds like soccer practice. <laughs> 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 that they can talk for hours about sports, girls, life, whatever. Well, they do seem they have a pretty good friendship. Yeah. Or they could just sit in silence. Ooh. Bro, where'd you get those jorts from? It's like I made them, bro. Make me a pair. What? Does Derek know oh. that that's what he's doing? Ooh, the hitters. How you know these songs? I have no idea. I know these songs. That's so sweet. That's so dangerous. It is. So what? So what? So you're not just gonna kill yourselves. You're gonna kill a fucking family of three in your jeep. He was way more forward than any girl he met before, and even though he wasn't always comfortable, he was grateful she pushed his boundaries. Because she was. Is that his new wife? Have... I mean, he's not your wife. His current wife. I don't know. He seems like the kind of guy that get married with his high school sweetheart. Marsha. He couldn't wait to tell Derek. I don't know his fucking wife. I think I think his wife's name is Marsha. Did she like? Mm. Did she like uh... Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to find a book to figure out what that means, but yeah. Off. What do you think? Can she swallow? Yeah. Wow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Derek jealous? Who dad? Who dad? dad. Oh. Derek. But I want to figure out which is dad, Cal's dad or Derek's dad? Yeah. Well, he just told Derek to leave, so it's Cal's dad. Yeah. Also, it's Cal's story, so this I assume. Is Mr. Jacobs, yeah. Get up. Yeah. You can't have boys in your room. Right now. He's got a hard on. Dinner's on the table. Why was he mean? Because he thinks he's gay. That makes sense. He yeah. made Marsha as a beard. I mean, less than a beard, I think. I think he's probably just bisexual. Yeah. I met a girl. And so did Derek. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I ain't gonna hand well for him. Uh -huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you have socks on? You guys go skinny dipping with, with socks, socks on? Right. I am disgusted. Yeah, that's weird. A lot of this was cool with me. <laughs> so you got in the pool with your socks on. <laughs> Y'all about to touch tips, bro. Mm -hmm. Also, see, people in California are living the best lives. I know. I, I actually grew up in California. I only get to go skinny dipping like once every five years. Apparently, everybody in California is rich as fuck, too. Uh, Damn, Marsha. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did he came right away? Yeah. I, I think he just lost his virginity. It became a regular thing. Yeah, so, okay, so he is bi. Yeah, he's bi. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Mind if I do it again? Yeah, I don't know. I, I like women, but can pay me pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh my god. What the hell? Why are you like this? What is, what is happening? Is she a scout? For dick? No, I mean like college guy, like, you know, for wrestling. Mm. 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 Mm.
summer ends. Life begins. All right, I have a theory. Rue's omnipotent. All right. Mm -hmm. Where are the girls going? Didn't say. Mm -mm. Wow. It's raining. Well, these jeeps just—I've never seen a This is why I don't get why, why Jake's bro, because you can't put your top back up when it rains like that. You, 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 you submit the to the weather, man. Yeah. All you seven seconds, your car's all wet now. That's nice. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna drain out the jeep. Yeah, but you got all the stuff in your car. Gay bar. And it was Derek's idea. Interesting. Derek's idea? Yeah, because he said like he knows place. Uh -huh. Bro, there's like no no chicks here. Exactly, bro. I knew they'd service here. How, <laughs> how, how'd you know about this place? Can we get uh, two more? Yo, let's slow the fuck down. Rapid bar. All right. Son, right slow it. Oh, oh my like body hurts. It's oh, three. three. Oh, three. Oh, he's playing his favorite song. I've never heard of this band. In excess. In excess. Yeah. In in excess. And it's like the word like in excess. In excess. Yeah. But like you said it right the first, I just I said it wrong. I was trying oh. to say it the right way. This is so cute. What happened in this man's life? Probably he. he He's maybe growing he up in a time where it's not okay. A yeah. time where it's not okay. But it seems like they found a safe space. Yeah, they got gay bars in California. I'm sure it was okay back then. Also, I it guess it was not okay. But it's. I mean, you know, you can find ways to. Let's see. Maybe Derek rejected him or something. Probably. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe he freaked out? I don't know. It sounds seems like Derek is going for this. Now, key. Do it. Ooh. Oh, it was oh. Derek. Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, happy for them. I thought he was be like, what the fuck, bro? I know. All right, what happens after this? Yeah, then, makes Cal Cal. Yeah. Aw, he's crying. Because they're going to two different schools? Yeah. I mean, and because for this for so long. they got forbidden love that they know can't be. Yeah. The whole bar is like, yep, been there. Just get to figure it out. Is this Nate now? No. They did really good casting. They yeah. look so similar. I was about to say. What's wrong? Mm, pregnant. Marsha. Marsha. What? Damn. Been hitting uh, it wrong all uh, That's why he couldn't. Uh... Are you sure? <laughs> yep. 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 That only um, means. Yeah, are you sure? You, we already know. Are you sure the test is accurate? Yeah. yeah there's a second one for confirmed. <laughs> We've all had this call. Have we? I, I, we have. <laughs> <laughs> you know those brief moments where you feel like you come uncoupled from time? Man, why would he be excited? He's going to college. Come on. Back in the day, you know, some people did it. Yeah. It's cool to have babies. Yeah, but I mean. At that time. At that time, it was like, expected. If you got knocked them up, you get married. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's we'll see the pull out. Oh, he's himself. He's crying. Oh. This is so sad. Oh. I mean, bro, it's also your mistake, though. You got to own up to it. Yeah, but you... now he's like, damn. That was sad. Uh, <laughs> deeply broken, man. Deeply. Make it sad. Yeah. <laughs> Have her and Jules ever hooked up? Yeah. I thought like, they did. Had sex? I thought yeah. they just. What the hell? They did in New York, yeah. didn't they? In New York was a dream fantasy situation. Yeah, but uh. they together. So they oh have. One day. I because went. even when she talked about sex before, like she talked about the, I yeah. think the two other times yeah. she had sex. I don't think they did. I feel like they would have by now. I thought they did. Yeah. Mm, this is a good set. Hey, how'd you do that? Really? That was okay. slick. <laughs> Excuse me, did you just put the pop tarts in the fucking fridge? The box, yeah. <laughs> like, so you're on drugs then, right? Because pop tarts don't go in the fridge, but. So that's how my dad looks at me. <laughs> <laughs> are you hot? Fuck <laughs> me. And what kind of high? Are you like uh, high on weed or are you high on like, you know? I feel a certain responsibility to make good decisions. But I relapsed. Uh, pills. Coke. Everything. People just want to find help. <coughs> Anywhere. And if not in reality, then in television. Oh, that's where we are. I'm not it. Is that robot testing? Yo. She robot tripping? How to get away with being a drug addict? Yeah. Find a cover drug. It's just weed. No weed. matter how hard you try to hide it, if you're doing drugs, you're going to get caught. It's inevitable. True that. No one believes an addict when they're caught. <laughs> so, first things first, you want to lay the groundwork. I think I'm going to start smoking weed. Why would you start smoking weed? Because I have panic attacks every fucking day. You're so fucking selfish. You get the small, the little tiny fight. Yeah. 
Mm. So that way she doesn't know about the big fight. It seems like the same fight to me. What big fight? Nah. Yeah, see, it's a big fight. That's a big fight. Oh God! What the hell? Oh wow! Oh god. Was that a little fight, Chris? Now, what you want to do is make them second guess their intuition. Over the I'm definitely on all the drugs again fight? I they they would have the same fight though. Gaslight. Gaslight. When you do drugs, it's not like when other people do drugs. It's better than committing suicide. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like you no more. <laughs> I don't like you no more. Just Yo, that's your fucking sister. The young pals. Try to get the dosage right on the pills. Just promise me. Jeez. Successfully Ooh. pulled off the yeah, line. She, yeah, she Up until, I mean, she's already been on this path. Yeah, yeah, but she just, what she did to her sister right there is fucked up. Oh, that's beautiful. You have a motherfucking out. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> karma in that bitch, huh? That's fucked up. It's barely karma. Oh, I smoked a little bit of weed and forgot to mention someone that I met. Well, by the way, I think he would really get along with. He wants to fuck you. How you know? I will say girlfriends always know. So you're straight? Well, I don't think of it that way. What do you mean? You never like thought about your sexuality before? Have you guys fucked? Ah, oh, you gonna oh, get that question answered? How many girls have you fucked? Technically three. It was like two seconds. It was embarrassing. Mm -hmm. She probably wouldn't count it. She would not count. Uh, how many guys have you fucked? Forty-three. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> she doesn't want to answer that question because she's kind of a whore. Slut. <laughs> she's a slut. <laughs> well, how many men do you have to fuck and no longer be interested in that? I'll tell you if you promise to never tell you. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? Wow, really? That's fucked up. That's like a mentally ill amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you really think so? How am I a nun? You're trans girl wearing a binder asking me whether I'm straight or gay. Well, I'm navigating a largely straight binary world. You sound like you're navigating a Twitter thread. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's hilarious. I love it. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging my muff around, waiting to see who fucks it. Okay? Being sarcastic because I'm uncomfortable. And the questions are like fucking hypocritical, you know? And you know, even though you've been gang banged by the entire galaxy, you're still <laughs> <stupid. laughs> <laughs> He's fucking hilarious. So Ru and Jules mm. haven't had sex then. I mean, also y'all riding trash ass cruisers, so let's be honest, you're not gonna go that fucking fast. Is that Nate? Cow. 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 Oh, he's gonna, he's, <laughs> he gonna run you over. He gonna run you over, be careful. <laughs> Both like, oh no. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'll fuck right here. Not a dumpster. Behind the house on the AC unit so her dad can watch? Well, maybe I'm wrong, shit. That just seems like the type of place to get caught, like, in a second. Well, they, they said they never fuck before, so I figure, you know, foreshadowing. All you think about is how cold my hands are right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cold. <laughs> Don't touch me. Pat? Dad. You all right? Told you. <laughs> I thought her dad was just gonna be sitting there sipping a coffee, being, "Can y'all not? <laughs> <laughs> not do it right here?" I don't know. Time goes really slow. You can just stay in the good moments without the fear that. Is that the same it. shit that, that the girl boxing. left? Yep. Oh my God. Wait, what? You remember the, the heroin girl? Yeah. Is a heroin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's, she's a heroin case. I don't yeah, know if she's I, doing heroin, but... I believe but that is what it's implied as, is it not? She's snorting heroin. You can I snort heroin. You can, if yeah. it's good heroin, you can snort yeah, it. you can snort it. Quote my South Side friends. Wow. But Balls. I mean, either way, that that box is that yeah, thing the, that, that chick left. Box, yeah. Oh my God, she just stepped Rude. up. You're Rude. the worst. He's not the worst character. Bro, his face is not fucked up. It's not fair. Lexi realized there was a reason she never tried to intervene. She's a messy she bitch who loves drama. That it was just a movie. Mm. One that she was writing. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> and cut it! My name is Lexi Howell. <laughs> <laughs> director and creator of This Is Life. <laughs> nice. Behind yeah, the scenes. scenes. So this part's digital. That's funny. TV show, the sidekick is the lead. 
<laughs> she just started writing and writing and writing. Yeah, taking all that fucking anxiety and shouldn't put yeah. it somewhere. Why are you awake at 4 a.m.? That's a good question. She's about calling me. a fucking Nate. secret fuck date. Cassie decided to wake up at 4 a.m. that morning to get ready for school. Huh? What is that thing she just did? Put the wrinkles. That works? She's, She's no. fucking teenager. She this is thing. stupid. She woke up early to get ready for Nate? Mm -hmm. Oh, because Nate was coming back to school finally? <laughs> oh my god. What did she think was gonna happen? Right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Cassie! You are such a fucking I don't feel bad for her. Yes. What is- I don't even know what 50% of the this shit she's she do doing is. It's also- all, everything is for wrinkles that she doesn't have. He's still yeah. not gonna notice you. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta rub balls across your face to look nice? There's no way of telling you I don't like that thing. Is. Now is she dressing bad. up like Maddie? Yes. Yeah, now I feel bad for her. She looks like-, like Maddie. Maddie. She is Maddie. And Maddie's Terrifying. gonna call her out on this. Dude, if Nate looked at you because you look like Maddie, that's a problem. Also, he's just confused. Yeah. Oh, no. <gasps> oh! Wait, what? Uh, my class is lying. I'd be like, yo, you bought the Jennifer body? What the <laughs> fuck she is this? She broke Maddie. And I was wondering if I could put it on. Sure. Dude, you didn't even ask her what the play's about? Yeah. Truth or dare. Dare. Oh, well, she's not wearing a binder today. Yeah, she's not, yeah. Well, I do need to take a piss in the middle of the church. Sure, yes. Not much of a dare. Gender well. fuck me, please. All right. <laughs> Dudes would be driving by and like wreck his car. <laughs> oh, my God. Now the car! Now the car, now the car, now the car. I wanted you not to, I'm in the scat plane if you wanted to like what the fuck? Oh! <laughs> 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 oh my god. I will fucking hurt you. And you gonna poop on me? <laughs> Bro, the school cop was just like, yeah, whatever. Oh my oh god, no. those pants look so comfortable. Yo, can y'all not? I am right here. He's gonna join. <laughs> what <are you? laughs> Oh, she now. Running out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> genius and figure out a way to do drugs for free. What if I am a genius? Oh my god, oh my god. you're like every crackhead on the genius. planet. All you would have to do is front me like five thousand dollars worth of drugs. Right? No. And then, no. The fuck. Every no. Okay, well, before you say no, you kind of have to let me finish. Right? Yeah, sure. No, the fuck, no. I did not like the way that the. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Lexi hadn't told anyone about the play, including Cassie. Where are you in the play? My play. Let's oh my god. You mean Lexi's play? Oklahoma. The play's called Oklahoma. <laughs> you know, the drama club's doing Oklahoma. Are you making fun of me or did you actually think I was auditioning for Oklahoma? Uh, you kind of look like you're auditioning for Oklahoma. <laughs> then why the fuck do you look like you're auditioning for Oklahoma? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are you on drugs? Yes. I don't understand. If you're not auditioning for Oklahoma, then why do you look like that? Like what? Like a country music star. In a good way or a bad way. Bitch, you better be joking. <laughs> 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 I am in love with you. Ah! What? This is in her head. I have never, ever been happier. What is wrong with you? I See? think Chris is right. It's in her head. It's in is her. it? Yeah, because Maddie know. would have been flipped to shit. She didn't say that. Oh, Maddie would have put the shit. It was much weirder. Yeah. God, my pants rose so much higher. Like I, my mother all like up. Oh. Oh <laughs> god. Oh god. Like I remember how the good parts felt. Mm. But when it was bad, was it really that bad? I have a metaphor for this. When you get older, don't be an asshole to girls you like. Yeah. Okay. Are they just like fucking them? It's yeah. Relationship with me. It's not a relationship. If y'all don't hang out in the daytime, I don't you know. just yeah. fucking. All right. So here's my, here's my metaphor. It doesn't work for some people, but it works for a lot. So you got an ex, right? Mm -hmm. And you cut their name out of cardboard. Mm -hmm. I left that in your secret. Oh, God. I love how fucking sick you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What? I cannot do this in my house. There's no way. I, I, would, I would not be able to get away with this. How's he? But they used to do that, I guess. Yeah.
In a weird oh. way, they're almost sex positive. Tell me about yourself. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to run away from your son. I thought they broke up. Kat got nervous because she could feel that there were right not. answers and wrong answers. Why are you grilling her, first off? I mean, that's baby. the first date, though. I mean, the first time they met each other. Sorry. That is the grilling. Yeah, parents you're not do grilling like that. It's so, like, in, fuck. Who are you isn't really grilling. It was an easy answer. Yeah. You literally have no idea who I am. <laughs> This is so awkward. So awkward. Wasn't that illuminating? Roast it. Mom hates you. Yeah. That's See that I was grilling. Question. But that is like literally the main question to ask. Yeah, but not the first time when you see somebody. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's like, he's cheated out, my boy. <laughs> no. He's thinking about okay. it. Oh my god. It wouldn't go down without a fight. Uh oh. If you work at the spot, tell somebody that they're staking out the spot. I would love to present you with a, a business opportunity. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Mm. No! Seriously? Who's this? The, the drug teacher. dealing teacher. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to concentrate. My friends, Jamie, Amy, and Lainey also have a GPA over 3.7. And, and Lori, these are, these are girls that you would never expect in a million years to be. That's what I thought you were getting at. You're an idiot. You're gonna die. Let's say we were able to pay Jamie, Amy, and Lainey five hundred dollars a month to be runners. Now as collateral, we would upload their phones to a cloud that I own. Why would you want that? Even though Jamie, Amy, and Lainey have stellar GPAs, there's also things on their phones that they don't want the world to know about because it would probably jeopardize their ability to get into Yale, Columbia, Harvard, my top choices. Intent to sell is a way bigger sentence. Not if you're under eighteen. You're a genius. Oh God. She playing you. I'll front you a 50k suitcase. <sighs> Dude. Maybe we should start smaller. 10k? Deal. What is she studying? Everything? I've been rehab in a month. If you screw me, I'll have you kidnapped and sold to some real sick people. Uh, she jumped to fucking trafficking yes. pretty quick. Yeah. That. I mean, what else she can do? <laughs> You're done. All right. Now, let me tell you this. Take care of the drugs, bro. A lot of people look for an easy come up. Robbing Rue of 10K, easy one of the cut. easiest yes. come ups. Yep, 100%. One of the, if anyone was paying attention, I'd be like. Mm. If anybody seen that right there, bro. Uh oh. Ooh. So she enlisted the help of Bobby as her stage manager and partner in crime. Fuck Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Oklahoma. Oh, I love her voice. It's so squeaky. Well, it's either call the cops, let me go, or kill me. You beat up my son. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Does you're in no position to talk shit. Easy to true. true. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you call the cops? Hot breath. <laughs> oh God, S. This guy don't want the fucking cops involved. Call the cops. Die, old bitch. Oh. God, you have overplayed your hand, old man. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. You're gonna end up killing him. He's gonna make a deal. Oh, oh God! Man, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Drug addict friend, you trying to extort my son. Who, Jewel? <laughs> Jewel. Jewel's with an S. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know she was <clears throat> it's like they could both solve this situation by talking. Just want the disc. Yo, you recorded that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, man. <laughs> even told you I gave a shit about this anyway. Bro, break it down to him. What kind of weird ass father son shit is going on around here? He's so cute. <laughs> that is his name. extremely confused. You You're confused. confused. <laughs> I'm fucking confused. <laughs> Thank you. Talk it out. Do you mind if I just leave? Uh, no, talk it out. Yo, Ash, let me talk to you real quick. <laughs> yo, keep your bitch ass son out of my fucking life. Ask him why you beat up his son. Get the fuck up out of here, Ash. Ash is such business. I love Just it. Businessman. Like, Ash is my dude. It's like, call the cops. Call them. Call them. Call them. Call them. Yeah, call them. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ash. You gonna walk home like this? Bro, you bro, he barely walked. You walk. <laughs> he got a concussion. Guys, a really simple conversation would have like, been, well, why did you beat up my son? Well, he framed somebody, bro. And like, tried to implicate my people. Why can't I shake the feeling that there's like something you're not telling me? Is it the face tats? You worry about him. You should be worried about your girlfriend. Oh, this is ass. This is kind of fucking awful. Oh. She came to NA with a suitcase full of drugs? 
If she sells it to them, she's the worst person of a human being. She ever. can't. But hopefully she's not selling to them. If she's selling to them. I think she's plan. planned to do <laughs> drugs herself. She's a crush on me. Well, she's going to try to do the drug mm-hmm. thing where she's like, I'm going to only smoke what I sell. And like, it's never going to work because her appetite's bigger than she thinks it is. He asked a question. What he said I do for what? Do you have a crush on Rue? Oh. She seems like gay or, or asexual. I feel like you fucked way too many people to look me in the face and lie to me and say she's some sexual force. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. you're like a sexual person. Not all the time, but sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Are you like trying to be an asshole right mm-hmm. now? I'm being sweet right now. How is that sweet? Are they going to hook up? Yeah. She's kind of clumsy, but you're very much a whore intentionally, which is great. <laughs> yeah. Intentional whore is the best. <laughs> oh, they're gonna fuck. I'm they fine with fuck. that. No. Why? Hey. Rue's a fuck up. Rue is doing so much other yeah. stuff that Jules if, doesn't deserve. If, if Rue's about to do what she's about to do, I think she's about to do, I don't give a fuck about her. You better not sell there. So, Rue, the $64,000 question is what's in the city? Yes. Yeah. Uh, man, I'm not trying to hear a fucking lecture, okay, about how my life would be better if I stopped doing drugs or, or believed in God or, or Allah or whatever the fuck. Okay, well, you're the one looking like Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play that shit with me. Fuck up, I'm not some parent. You just treat like shit. Yeah, well, good thing nobody's really looking to be a fucking parent. Wow! Oh. Again? Wow! You crossed that line again. We're done. Tell her. Hey, you hear me? Like, seriously. Or what, Ali? You are such. Yeah. Oh. That's it. Walk away. You're like, all right. Bruh. See? You. No. Yeah. That was a waste of your time, Ali. I'm sorry. That's it? Yeah. I think that's how you handle some shit. Uh, bro. I guess. Rue is officially the worst. She might, she might be worse than Nate. They're both the worst in different ways. Mm-hmm. I can, um. I cannot believe she called him in the middle of the night multiple times for help. I think Ethan will be really sweet for Lexi. Yeah. I think she could still give a Fez. I'm rooting for Lexi and Fez. It's not even Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh, she's doing really good. No, see, so you no. need to check up on your daughter sometimes. I though. mean, how much can of her life can oh. She's a teenager. Like, how much in her shit can you be? But if you see her bringing a random suitcase like that, come on. I mean, she just had a perfect alibi. That That's true. That, yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't thought twice about it. I, know, like, I guess I just have I, I have a paranormal mind. If I, if I knew my daughter was already in trouble with drugs, I would just think she's always doing And you'd probably stay on them hard enough to make them relapse, right? Or feel like it's your father they relapse. Like, I don't exactly know how you play that shit. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, it's fentanyl. It's everything, it seemed like. Do not touch that. <laughs> you can't get it from touching it. I mean, I mean, don't use it, you know what I mean. Oh, don't take fentanyl, girl. Oh, no. That's a fentanyl oh, patch. No. I can't stand her. How is she going to pay back 10K? Like, she's, I don't think she intends to pay to save the 10K. <laughs> I think she intends to die. No, she... I think she intends to die. Mm-hmm. I mean, she didn't say she was going to kill her. She said, I will sell you. <laughs> that was overdose. <gasps> oh. Then why'd she get she's so many drugs? She's going to have a fucking meltdown. On this corner. But it seemed like he had flowers. Was he going to see Maddie? Yep. yep. Oh my god. Toxic is as toxic does. Whose blonde hair is this right? I mean, but in his mind, he always thought that what Cassie was, it was just a, a friend with bad this type of deal. Oh, yeah. All, all they did was fucking night. Like, that's all they did. They never hanged up before that. Yeah, so. but for her, she's like. Yeah, no, she took it differently. But he, for him, he wasn't trying to hurt her on purpose. Wait, uh, Drake was executive producer on this. this they, they were both were Drake and Future for all the episodes for real. Future. Really no past, shit, yeah, really? Yeah. I haven't like, seen any of them. Yeah, I didn't they, see that. They've been down there for like the past. Like, all the I episodes. was just noticing when I'm on season two, episode three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm noticing that Drake is on there. So, uh, here's dude, my, this show. This here's episode. my uh, ex metaphor for Maddie. So, <laughs> all right, let's say, uh, you know, your ex is a, you carve out their first letter of their name, right? But you do it in a cardboard box and it's carved as good as they are, right? But like, Maddie sucks, so it's like all these jagged edges and shit, and like Nate sucks, so it's the same for her. It's all these like jagged edges. And when you're looking at the box, it's got a light in it. When you're looking at it like this, like you can see how shitty it is, right? Yeah. Like you can see the jagged edges because you're up close. But then as time goes on, the box gets like further away from you. 
And as it gets further away, it looks better. It looks better and better until it's just a light. And then it's really hard to be like, oh, those jagged edges. But then you get back close. And you're like, oh, that's right. They're still yeah. there. That's and actually like, a great metaphor. That's one of those things. I because m- m- I had a me and some friends had a hard time continuing to fuck our exes in those real bad times. And after a while, I was like, listen, every time we get back, it's the same shit. All right, it's, it's a fucking box. Like just let that light go and get as far as away as it can. Because eventually, it's gonna get so far that you don't even think about or notice it anymore. That's true. That's true. But I've never. You have no box, I know. I, I, I just, no, I'm not trying to fucking say that. I'm just like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, if I broke up with someone, it's for a reason. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Have you never had makeup sex? No. For real? It depends on a person. Because makeup sex is usually pretty good. I and if you can uh, find a system where you do makeup sex like every three months. Living a good life. I mean, you're living an awful life, and it's you're terrible. An awful <laughs> life. Yeah, depends on a person on that. But yeah. I don't know. This just, I honestly, I was not expecting from the show that I will end up actually hitting Rue, or not. I knew that I wouldn't be happy with the character or the play, but like, but this episode today, this is bad. I was like, yeah. Rue, you are. Yeah, She's I guess. So yeah, selfish. you have a suicide w- wish. I get it. Um, but, but now she's just, going to bring violence to their house. Yeah. Yeah. She's going to bring violence to their house. And, like, at the end of the day, like, she had she had overdosed. So she knows what she put her mom and sister through. And that still didn't bring her back. So at this point, she is wishing to just die. She don't she's wishing to kill herself. herself. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I herself. see it the other way. And it's because I've known a lot of addicts. And I've even had the conversation of, look. All I need is 3,000. And she's like, well, I'm done listening already. <laughs> but for her right now, like, she's riding that high, right? Like, she literally, th- she's like, I'm a fucking genius. I just figured out how to do drugs for free. She thinks she's the first person in all of human history to come up with this. But she's not. What she's literally going to do is going to be like, I'm going to sell just as much as I smoke and I'll break even every single time. And then that way, I'll never have to pay for drugs again. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know the problems that comes along with drugs. She doesn't realize that she has an appetite and that there's an easy potential for her to do more drugs than she intends on doing mm-hmm. and fucking herself over. She doesn't realize like the shit that happened with Fez where he had to flush shit down the toilet and, and figure out a way to make up that money. Mm-hmm. Fez knows how he's going to make up the money if shit goes sideways. Rude is not. And for mm-hmm. me, it's... It's one of those things where, one, the show has a little bit of sensationalism. Sometimes it's like regular high school drama, but then it's like kind of extra step above that's heightened. It's like she's getting drugs from this drug dealer. Yeah, that is plausible, but it's not the thing that most people in high school are going to go to or have to deal with. But she's going to, for storytelling's sake, she's going to fuck it up. And I think the only real way she can get out of it is with Fesco. She can't, or maybe she could call the cops and try to figure out some shit and get this lady taken off the streets. But like... When, whenever a she show presents me, fuck, presents you with a like big that. bad, that's like, hey, if you fuck up, like, I'm going to sell you in a sex slavery to get my money back. Yeah. It's 10K. It ain't shit to me. Like, God. It, she can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my stomach to <laughs> <is> so loud. <laughs> but, like, she can't, uh, she can't get away with this. You know what I mean? Like, she can't fuck it up yeah. and walk away unscathed because, like, that would mean that, like, it would make the teacher... Not a big deal, and the teacher's been painted as a big deal. Mouse answered to her. So, like, fucking her over has to have some consequence. And so far, we haven't really seen the teacher do anything bad. We know that she's bad, but, like, she hasn't done that villain thing where, like, mm-hmm. she hurt someone or killed someone or did anything like that to really own those stakes or disappeared anyone. So, But, I mean, she has a bunch of people who, like, brought her in that room. Remember New Year? Yeah. yeah. When they were like, okay, so they everybody and all that. Yeah. But so it just ha- has the capacity of going bad, and we have seen Mouse mm-hmm. go bad. So, yeah, I think... Yeah, her, she herself haven't seen it, and she doesn't look like a mouse, so it's easy to be like, "Oh, you won't do shit," but like, no, she and like the teacher, it. just like the teacher. I don't know if she leaves Rue or not, but also for her, she's like, it's like a, she's like a credit card company. <laughs> she's like, I don't care what you do, with exactly. It. I'm going to get paid but at the end way. of it, either way. So either for way. her, it's like, it's like ain't shit she to played me. them. She, she's like, she the whole time she wanted to thought she wanted she wanted to feel like a genius, and then the drug dealer told her that she was a Jew. She just played her. Like, yeah. Yeah. she knew what she, like, I bet you that drug dealer probably had 20 of her coming in the same position and asked the same proposition. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, she knows she's been there before. She knew what was going to happen. And it's one of those lies that super sounds like a lie. Me and all three of my friends have, like, these high GPAs. They want to go to Harvard, blah, 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 blah. Schools. I know what you heard of them. She's like, it's my first choice. And it's like, 
All right, sure. But also, kid, guess what? I know that if you were a genius, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be yeah. here. Yeah. Asking, okay, geniuses wouldn't be fucking right? going to Harvard and shit like exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, yeah, she's going to fuck up, and that would be interesting to see how that comes to head. Um, I just hope that none of that shit goes back to the house because she I mean, did that, like, her parents already been through enough. Yeah. And then yeah. If her daughter, I mean, not her daughter, if the sister somehow gets hurt from it because she didn't think about anyone else except for herself. Like, yo. Yeah. Let's talk about Cal. I kind of <laughs> feel, now that I know his story, I kind of feel bad because, like, there's, there's a one idiom that my parents have always told, like, always, like, whenever you like, super happy, I know that's going to be fucked up, but, like, whenever you're super happy, you're going to get sad. So it's like he had this one moment of like super happiness, right? He wanted it, he finally found it, and then the following morning, instantly, mm, he's crushed. stuck. He's mm-hmm. crushed. Like, not, I don't know if he ever went to school or not, but either way, he couldn't continue what he wanted to do. He had to be there for Marsha because that's what people are supposed to do, and mm. then he is just stuck there. And it goes back to what he was saying to Jules, too. He's like, I, he's like, your generation, like, I'm so jealous because you guys get to, like, be, and all yeah. the, like, even all the, like, that the dudes sense. that he's been with, too, like, the one dude who was just, like, he was like, oh, I know who the fuck I am. Yeah. The, the one dude, he was, like, the super sassy gay dude. He was like, like, I know who I am. He was like, if you want to do this, we can do this. If not, like, you can fuck off. And, like, I think that Cal is upset in that, that he can't be who, be he, who he wants to be, which does suck, right? Yeah. But also, like, him cheating on his wife, I think, is probably the shittiest thing Kyle's done. Yeah. I'm trying to think in the story real quick. And then we, we don't even know what their whole entire situation but, is. Like, but he's also, like, do, do the people that he records, do they get... Do they know? Do they give consent to being recorded? Yeah, yeah okay. That's sure. a good thing, too. Yeah, so, I'm not sure. Well, because Jules didn't know it was recorded. Nope, so, they All right, cool. So... Uh, cheating on his wife and unconsensually recording people and saving it to his weird little spank bank is all weird. Also, like if you fuck an underage girl, that that's on you. Yeah. That's that's one hundred percent on you. I mean, I felt like when she said her age, it sounded like a lie. And like, if you think that I like that, that he fucked. When up. you're in a question, bro, ID or just fucking need the situation. Yeah. yeah if I ID. need to ask <laughs> how old do I think you are, nah. Yeah. I think Name the, the first Power Rangers you ever watched. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing was, Fez was like, what? You fucked Jules? <laughs> what? You recorded that shit? Right? He's like, I know he's like, bro, what's wrong? That was great. That was so great. Why you fucked this 17 and you tell me to record uh, it? I think, I'm so confused. I feel like, uh, I feel like Kyle could talk to his wife, Marsha, about him, like, being bisexual. But I think he just thinks he's, like, too late in the game. He's done too many things he doesn't want to admit. Mm -hmm. Because that will open up a whole Pandora box, right, like, at this point. Yeah, but, like, and and it's it's unfortunate because, like, the the time that he was born, it was really, like, not acceptable. And I don't think she would understand, even Mm -hmm. though she was as sexual as she was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So it's just, like, it's unfortunate that, like, (laughs) he was just born in the wrong, at the wrong time. Mm Mm-hmm. I and mean, just like the timing with the pregnancy was also wrong. It, yeah. It's just, it's, I feel bad for him, but at the same time, I don't. I, I don't. He know. needs to talk with his wife. Like, I'm sorry, he's he's old enough to know better. Like, well, is he gonna live in secret for the rest of his life? Is he gonna be one of those dudes who's gonna fucking die, and then the family's gonna find out they had this whole entire second separate life? Probably because his son's literally going through the same shit. And guess what? If he would have addressed this shit, if he'd have figured it out, he could have been there for his son, help guide his son through it. But because of all of the shit that Cal's been through and the way that he runs his household, his son is literally sitting here going through the same thing and fucking up even worse than he was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like at least Cal wasn't like Nate when he was in high school. You know what I mean? And yeah. like. But I don't think Kel is going to like come to in terms and at this point because I don't think he himself has come to terms. He'd say this is the lifestyle he lives and because of the societal image, he can't really go back the other way. Like I don't think he can break that. Is he that. fucking happy though? I mean, does he? I don't think he cares. I think he cares about being happy. Like, then what's the point? Like, if you're because some, doing these hotel some, late night hookups, like, are you feeling something? Oh, well, I mean, are you I at think least those having are thrills. I think those are thrills. Are they? Because you can only thrill for so long before your thrills ain't really thrills. I, I mean, a thrill, like, thrill, thrill, know, thrill. After every thrill, there's a euphoria afterwards, right? Yeah, I don't know. There's like a weird mindset with older generation. Like, I know. There's a weirder mindset, like, in brown, like, older people. They're like, you, you, you're doing this as a duty. You, you get married, you have kids. 
doesn't matter if you're happy or not because that's just a fleeting mm-hmm. moment kind of thing. How much and of life sucks. is duty, though? By I know. the time you go in the oh, grave, do you want to look sure, back and be like, but I, I think we know that, right? Free. Like, the life is more than just, like, doing what society asks you to do. But I think a lot of the older, older generation, generation don't realize that because they're like, this is what we're supposed to do and we're doing what we're and supposed to do. And then when they do. finally realize it, it's until, like... It's too late. It's too late. Like, for like for example, for my mom, I'm, like, trying for her to find other things to do besides just work or just do housework. And she, the only thing else she does is Candy Crush or TV. Yeah. So or the life like, revolves around kids. Yeah. Like, you know, the kid's going to leave the nest, right? They're like, yeah. no, they can't. Like, they will. So, like, <laughs> she has, she doesn't do anything else. So, like, I'm trying to have her do other things, but they just don't know because what they don't know, they don't know. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know. I think that's why it is good, too, because we also see these kids in high school who aren't, mm-hmm. like, enjoying it or living it. And, I mean, that's on them, too. They got a whole bunch of other shit. But, it, yeah, like, you don't want to... When you are at the end of your life, uh, depending on who you are as a person, I guess, if you want to look back and look at what you've done, I know for me, I don't want to look back and be like, I spent 90% of my time in duty. Like, I want to have fun. I want to enjoy it. I want to go out of this bitch with a bunch of fun memories, like with my friends and shit. And I want to do my duty in order to make those parts Mm -hmm. of my life fun. And like, Kyle feels like... He's working on the fun part now, but he feels like he's 90% duty. He's 90% this person on the outside and not like actually who he is, which is no blame. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I totally get it. I I just, I think that's like a mindset change with the generation. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm with you. Like, and just, it's also one of those things like, yeah, this is how it's going to be. It's a teaching moment for older generation too. Like, hey, what are you saying? I understand, but that's not how I'm going to live my life. Mm -hmm. My life that... I'm living, right? Like, it, it just have to find a balance, but... Um, Rue's the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Rue, but going back, uh, Cal, what is he going to do now that he knows clearly Nate lied to him? Is he going to actually confront him? I think he has to. He and has I think to. Cal's the kind of dude who, like, knows that he has to, so he will. But, like, if Nate's like, I'd like, yo, can you tell me the truth? Like, you do realize that I can go to jail forever on this, and, like, I didn't know. Like, regardless of what you think about me, and regardless of how I fuck this up, it's not like I, like, look at my tapes, check my collection, tell me who else in that bitch was fucking 17. Yeah. Nobody. So, like, you can either think it's an aberration or some new shit I'm getting into or it's a fucking mistake. Like, whatever. Like, you need to have that conversation and be like, tell me where it's at. I will help you get it back. Like, Mm -hmm. I also, you know, just let me know. Like, fuck, can we get through this together? Like, damn, I'm your fucking daddy. You let me... Let yeah. me get rolled on. I'm going to go to fucking Sing Sing for 30 years. They I just, don't think he cares. Yeah. I don't think he cares about his dad. He doesn't. He also yeah. called his dad weak on multiple occasions. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying it's... Uh, so let's talk about Eli. What's his name? Eli? Elliot. 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 Uh, their whole, like, how to get away with doing drugs thing was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like Elliot. He's a new addition. He's a good new addition. He's hilarious. Yeah. Um, I definitely think he wants to fuck them both. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I do... And that's what... I was kind of getting that vibe from Jewel. That's why I asked in the beginning of the episode, like, have they ever had sex? Like... She feels like she's more concerned with doing drugs than having oh, sex. And yeah, because absolutely. of her anxiety and everything else, like she just might be a person who's generally asexual. She might not have room in her head to even think about that, right? Mm-hmm. She doesn't strike me as the type of person that like fucking masturbates even. And the two times she mentioned yeah. having sex seemed very like, meh. Like yeah, those were like, things that I did. She just did it. Yeah. And I think one of them, she was just there. I think somebody, like she was saying, like she was under influence when she something had said like something. That. Um, I just remembered the first time. Well, but yeah. it's like, a, I mean, you know, that's rough. I mean, people can be asexual. You can live that. But like for her to be with Jules, too, it's we already know because of the drug use that it's not an ongoing thing. But Jules does seem to be. I, well, I mean, yeah, she's a much more sexual person. So, like, mm-hmm. how is that going to work out for them? Like, how is that shit going to play? What's going to happen if they don't? They're too young to be able to have these adult fucking conversations about and figure it out. So it's like. Yeah. I mean, but they're young. They're so. also a teenage, two yeah, teenagers exactly. dating. They're, they were gonna young. break up anyway. Like, they're gonna break up eventually. But how? Yeah. How is either one of them gonna take that shit? Yeah. I think like either way, I don't know which one's gonna break the camel's back first. Either Jules gonna find out about Rue ha- like being on drugs, or Jules gonna get tired of not be able to have sex because like end of like it, it is important in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Like how long you can go without it before like we really need to talk about this. Which one do you want? Do you not want this at all? Then if she is asexual, then Jules need to figure out is that what she's okay with? Yeah. Because that's then they need to find another mm-hmm. maybe bring Elliot in the whole thing. Like have to Elliot when you go to be a throuple, exactly. Mm-hmm. But then Elliot will eventually have to tell Jules too about the drugs. Mm-hmm. But we don't know how much of drugs he does. We don't know his situation either. So he could just be the same kind of addict type person, but he doesn't seem like it. He at least seems like Oh, he's an addict. 
He seems, but he seems functional. He seems a little more connected with the world than Jules. Mm. I, so I feel like Jules is just like kind of literally coasting through the air. <laughs> like there's a chance Jules, that he's just like recreationally high. I think they're both addict. Jules is the ad, one of those addicts that no gives no fucks. Rue. Rue. I mean, yeah. Rue gives no fucks. And the other guy is an addict, but he still cares about it. Like how he's perceived. Uh, I, mean, I think it's also about the ty- type of drugs they do because mm. she's. Straight up doing. I thought heroin. he was doing heroin too. But he was doing no. coke. I don't oh, okay. think he was doing coke. She was doing heroin, and okay. now she's doing fentanyl. Oh yeah, she's on a different level. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah. escalated she's like a, a patch. Of, like that's what they give like patients after surgery. Oh, yeah. God, she just licked that shit. She was. I mean, and when her sister told her too, which I think is like a good thing for like addicts to hear, is like when you do drugs, it's not the same as other people. Mm-hmm. And even for her, like weed's not a gateway drug, right? But like she's literally sitting here using it as like a scapegoat and being like, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And, like, if I was her sister, I would be worried about Rue doing drugs because, like, all right, cool, you're doing weed. Where are you getting it from, Fez? If Fez gives you an offer for some new shit, are you going to turn it down? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you're fucking getting weed from a dispensary or some shit. <laughs> you know, yeah. you're fucking kid. Like, you're getting it from the dude who also sells fucking heroin and he happens to know you like heroin. And guess what? I bet you heroin's going to make him a little more money. But and Fez would not Fez do that. wouldn't do that, but let's imagine she's getting it from any but other Gia drug doesn't dealer. Know. Gia doesn't know. You know what I mean? Know. The first time I tried lean was because the dude who sold me weed was like, looks like you're having a real bad time. You want to buy some lean? And I was like, you know what? You're a pretty good salesman. What is lean, though? Uh, it is cough promethazine syrup. cough yeah. syrup. So it's like an opioid cough syrup. Oh, is it? It yeah. is the reason why I did it like twice. And I was like, I will never do heroin and I won't do this again either. It felt too good. Really? Just like, bro, I was... So I have a question. If you nothing. are like just as drug dumping. addict that Gru is, can you ever go back to just doing weed? Because w- wouldn't weed eventually feel like this is not enough of a high? You see, I mean, look at Ali, chain smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Mm. I, yeah. That's a, a lot of, question. I, I have a few recovered addicts in my life, mm-hmm. and like a lot of them just like replaced this unhealthy addiction with a healthy addiction. Like one of my friends just like obsessively does yoga. Oh. Became like God the damn. yogi. She became so like addict. A, she became like, it became her career. She's so I have her. a question about that. So yeah. like, is that is that an addict though? Like you said, like she, I mean, she, she placed like, an addiction with something. If you have like addictive personality, you just like the best way to just overcome it is to replace yeah. it with something healthy. I mean, you so can it's be an not addict. a bad thing then. It's not a bad thing. But no, being an addict doesn't always have to be a bad thing. It I just mean, depends on what you addict of. You can be addicted to salads, and I bet you'd be all right. <laughs> you can, people do get runners <laughs> high. Gyms, I think, yeah, some yeah. people at the gym, some people that run, like, yeah, mm-hmm. it's only a problem when it starts to affect your life. Like, all right. You know, you could be addicted to anything, right? Let's say you're a video game addict, but that's good because you love playing video games and then you're doing good and you're in competitions and shit. Let's say you're not showering. Let's say you're not hanging out with people. Let's say you're not with your family. Let's say you're not taking care of your responsibilities. I mean, but also it appears as if you're an addict. Like, just replace the word video game with anything. You know what I mean? Like, you can hyper-focus on something to a point that's too bad. It's all life. It's a balancing act. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about favorite person. Lexi. 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 Oh, we can talk about Lexi. Lexi, Lexi. Play. Lexi <laughs> is not our favorite hey, person. I Lexi. Cassie. I want Lexi. Lexi and Fest to fucking be a couple. Yeah. Mm. Lexi. Yeah. No. Lexi and Fest can. I, I, I want yeah. Lexi to go to a nice school and move out, move out of town. <laughs> yeah. Get away from everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like she will get taken <sighs> down by everybody. Um. Good thing she's putting a play on, but yes. I, I mean, what's Cassie gonna think when she sees the play and it looks like it's about their family? Oh my god, that Oklahoma hilarious. thing in the bathroom! <laughs> I so died. Funny. I died. So why do you look like you're fucking dressed up? Look at a good way, remember? Her boobs were so out. Just how is nobody a teacher? A joke. I don't know. You know how right before a lady has her period and her boobs get all juicy, hers look like that all the time. And she, they just have her running around and like little super jiggly things. If I was a teacher, I'd be like, you're getting a sweater. Yeah. You're gonna, I'm getting you a robe for graduation so, and you have to wear it every day. Like no one's studying anymore. At my school, we had one teacher who was so anal. Like she would walk around with a ruler to make, because we had a rule uh, mm-hmm. along your, and she would just measure people that's a bit so, much she was so anal but so I was, i'm surprised like she's dating. a fascist <laughs> <laughs> yeah this high school Fashion, like with fascist. that like just how her having her boobs out was like that will never fly in a high school no, right? not. do you no. know high school boys have no control no first off some dude's gonna be touching you and we're gonna have to kick this kid out of school and i'm not saying that that's right for him and i'm not saying that you need to cover up for that i'm just saying that in a learning education space with a bunch of fucking horny teenagers you don't they, want to 13 inches of cleavage how can you might be a little bit fucking yeah. 
you, like, you're drawing the attention away from the wrong things. I'm going to learn what five times five is when I see that. I, I mean, some some rules in high school are weird. Like when they say like you can't have your shoulder exposed. Like spaghetti like, straps. Feels okay, weird. that one's whatever. Weird. That's stupid. But like you can't have a like. Even if it's not school setting, if we were just in general public, I won't be able to pay attention. Is there, <laughs> is there a ma- male outfit that would be distracting to you? To me? Yeah. Uh, Gray sweatpants, no if, draws, kind of If a type. guy walks d- into a room... If he's, like, super fit and he's wearing, like, a fit shirt and they... Yeah, don't you cover up his abs. abs. I can see the abs through. ripping through and it's like, okay, let me... I know your eyes are up here, but what's, happen- <laughs> what's happening but, right here? I mean, what are you going to do? You, you, that, that's harder. I, well, one, I think maybe, all right, you know, if there's any gay dudes out there, let me know. Or any super horny women, let me know. I, I don't know that there's a male outfit that really objectifies yeah. the man's body. They have, like, as much as, like, tight pants. Tight your pants. Tight pants. Yeah. Tight like, pants where you, like, you can see somebody's I mean, ass. It's like, all right, that's too, yeah, too uh, much. I've seen, okay. I've seen some men wear booty shirts. Yeah. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. damn, that guy's hot. Because I feel like when a dude's wearing booty shirts, it's not for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but, but I mean, it's distracting. Okay. Yeah, it's just, there's a go. Like, it's but distracting. That's what I'm saying. Like, let's not have double standards here because, like, Cassie, I understand her, like, fashion is distracting and she's, like, really doing a lot right now. But, but, but in this whoever, one, is, no... whoever is, like, having an issue with it is kind of their problem. Not I mean, it's at I a mean, school. Outside, outside school. school. Outside, school. Sure, outside school is probably fine. Like, I remember Maddie walking down like the way she did in a fair. It was fine. It's outside school. But in school, like, like I don't see any it other guys. But like, for her, I was much. like, this is a bit much, girl. Like, I know you're talking. I haven't seen your face. And in college, <laughs> in college, I feel like people dress like, I literally, I've, I've had college, college nobody cares. Nobody cares like in college. And that doesn't matter because we're kind of past that. We're a little yeah. more mature, right? Like in high school, y'all are fucking immature. And like, I am telling you, like people would be, her breasts would be the talk of conversation in class. Motherfuckers would be taking shots left and right. Teacher, how am I supposed to fucking pay attention when I've had a boner for the last 10 days? I have no blood in my head. Like, excuse me, what did you say? Well, look at Cassie over there. Like, what the fuck? Can I, can we get a partition? Like, That's can exactly we make partition. these jokes? They wouldn't stop about it. That's and then exact eventually, conversation you punish all the dudes and you're just like, well, we need a dress code. That's yeah. why we have a dress, a dress code. code. Yeah. It, it just, I don't know. I, I understand what she's trying to do. I, I think, okay. She her Look waking at me, up senpai. at 4 a.m. in the understand. morning to like get ready to oh. literally just get Nate's attention, and Nate is not paying attention and only wants to meet him meet her at night. Cassie, come that on, girl. means like <sighs> to say something. Like in Nate's head, she's literally just ass, titties, and a mm-hmm. vagina, yeah. and occasionally yeah. a mouth. Means like you're you're a person too. Even though he had that whole spiel, or Rue had that whole spiel about how much he was in love with her and how much better things would be, and it's like that's not. But he I'm doesn't see that her. because the only time he ever sees her is in the truck at nighttime. Right. Yeah, and Ugh. he's not taking her out. He's just literally fucking her while he just got flowers and stuff from Maddie. He's so. training her like a flashlight, and she deserves more than that, man. But she needs to like. But she needs to also out. see that too. Yeah, yeah, she needs to pay more attention to herself. Like, why are you waking up four a.m. in the morning? I don't and get then that. only time you got attention was when you look like Maddie. You literally and the went look was, what the fuck? I know. <laughs> she probably went back and was like. Oh, this is just crazy. Honestly, Maddie, at this point, it, like, she must be suspicious. Exactly. Come on. I think she must be. I don't know. Maybe. maybe she trusts her friend too much to say, like, there's yeah. something weird going on, but maybe she's not really fucking made. Yeah, I really love um, Maddie's relationship with her, with the kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The kid is, like, very clearly in love with her. <laughs> it's like, so cute. I, I would go to sleep. <laughs> um, it's so cute. I am curious in the comments. Tell us still the one outfit boys are they shouldn't be wearing. Like, what's the what's the too hot outfit? Is it a three piece suit? Guys? Is it the board? Guys? What three piece suit? Like a three piece suit? suit. You know, like a really nice, well. You can't see suit. nothing with a three piece. Oh yeah, suit. if a guy walks in like a really good mm. suit, mm. oof. Mm. But you can't see nothing. I don't think girls Doesn't really matter. care about seeing anything. If, Women if are a, weird, bro. If I don't a know. guy wears a really good fitted suit, not like your dad's suit, but like <laughs> actually like a fitted suit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So like, if you were a teacher. Like, teacher never would be like, sir, you need to go and put on a regular outfit. That three-piece suit is yeah. too hot for this, <laughs> too hot for this class. Get out of here. Yeah. Like, that happened, like, in college. Sometimes, like, people, like, going for somewhere else, and they will come in, like, a footy fit. I was like, I don't know what we did today. <laughs> My super sexy Good. outfit is the uh, old-school basketball player one. Like, see, I get some really nice shoes on. I get some really long socks and really short shorts. No underwear. <laughs> 
jumping jacks. <laughs> oh my god! Isn't this shaping though? Like, are you like, is it Absolute painful? Absolute jumping jacks. <laughs> nope. All you can hear is just slap. No. <laughs> Only to you. <laughs> no. I think it's attractive. Uh, hey, if it's hot, if it's hot for me, that's how I attract my mates. The first date me and Marquette had. Basketball shorts. It's not what happened. Without any shirt. It's not what happened. Yeah. Cool. Swish. Oh my god. Your boy was here. Yeah. Three. Three. No <laughs> way. Yeah. All right. Well, um, with that being said, guys, we're gonna jump. Sorry. It's beautiful. Jump into this next one. Yes. Let us know what you think about this one in our cool little discussion. We'll see you at the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.